Hey there, thanks for stopping by. I'm Robin with Old Town Finds. Um, I just did a video yesterday um, out to you guys of a shopping uh, trip with uh, Karen, but I wanted to get out a kind of a quick video of um, the things I had left over from our shopping trip um, down in Myrtle Beach while we were on vacation. Um, I only have a few pieces here, but at the end I think I want to tag on some sold items that I had over the last week or so, and that way you guys can see kind of what's going on, and so look for that, okay? And please remember to like and subscribe below, it will really be helpful, and I'd appreciate um, any comments or anything, any questions you have about the pieces I'm about to show. Okay. First thing was, um, we went to a, a, a very new Salvation Army in Moorhead City, North Carolina. Um, I was really disappointed. We went back to the shelves and they didn't really have a lot. I mean, nothing that I was interested in. It was a lot of newer and just stuff that really wasn't what um, I look for. Um, but because they were new, they didn't have the stock either. So as we were getting ready to leave, I walked up front to uh, put my cart back and I noticed over the uh, cashier area they had a shelf, a higher shelf, and there was a collection of Balik up there. I was totally stoked and excited. I asked for um, the price on one piece and I believe it was the piece that broke. I did have one, one break on the way here. It was a vase. Um, not one of their more expensive vases. Hold on. But still it makes me sick to have breakage. It's like this is the worst ever. I've had a champagne flute now break. A pretty expensive one. And um, now this. And this just breaks my heart like really bad. But this broke right there. And I don't know. I might I don't know if I'm going to try to salvage this or not and just keep it and then put some floral, you know, like fake flowers in it or something. It's just too pretty and a neat piece to just toss. I just, um, suck with it. But anyway, the girl actually showed me this piece first and it was marked $6.99. I don't know if that's right. And I said, okay, and there were what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces up there. I just told her I'd take them all. Um, and she kept saying, oh, my manager's going to be so mad because um, the prices are very low in there for this. And before that, Don was walking around and he actually found a bridesmaid doll by Fenton glass and they didn't have a price on it. Well, I asked them for a price and they're like, oh, well, we did a Google search on it and it's showing up for $79, so we don't know what we're going to offer it. I mean, they didn't even, you know, this is the go, this is what they're doing. They're looking at the eBay comps or, you know, actives really, and that's what they're going by. So um, after that, I found this, and the girl just kept saying over and over and over how mad her um, manager was going to be that the whole you know collection got sold out. I'm like, isn't that the point to get rid of the stuff and have over you know turnover? So anyway, um, so this is what I found. I have um, this little soap dish. It has a Celtic knot in it. Celtic knot. Celtic knot. And it was $4.99. And I believe this was offered on QVC. And um, I'm thinking I could get about $25 for this. Plus or minus and having to figure in some shipping. So not a bad price for that. The total on this, by the way, this set with the broken one as well is $63.95 is what I spent. So... This one I think I could get about $25 for though. It's in, it's in great shape. Um, this little bowl here, it's not an open sugar, I don't believe. i um, not really sure if it's just like a little rose bowl, but it is the traditional shamrock basket weave. This one I paid $4.99 for, and I think I can do anywhere between $25 to $35 on this. 
Now this is uh, a little different. Um, I haven't seen a lot of their mugs. It says, I've got Irish roots. Um, and it's a little coffee mug. Um, don't have the price on this one. Why not? I think this was like $4.99. I had quite a few pieces too that were $4.99. Um, I think that I could probably do $25 to $35 on this as well. I'll have to double check. This one I didn't really check right now before showing you. But um, kind of a neat piece. And then, let me set this over here out of the way. Um, the next one I have is, it's got scroll work on it. And it is the Shamrock. And this is uh, Shamrock Heritage vase. And I don't know, 2008. And it is numbered. This one is 1,436 out of 4,000. I got that for $6.99. And I think that I could get um, between $35 to $50 on this. I have to double check. I did a quick look on Worth Point. And um, yeah, that's one I'm seeing. They're kind of like all over the place. So. Now these two pieces were not familiar to me. There was a lady standing next to me and she, she asked to see these two pieces because she saw me getting the other pieces. And I think it was just to kind of point it out to me because she was really super nice and she's like, okay, you know, told the girl that she, thank you. I said, well, do you want them? And she's like, no. And she's like, take them. So I was like, oh, super cool. So um, I kind of made out with these two. This is Wild Rose Pitcher Heritage piece from 2010, numbered 474 out of 1,000 made. I got it for $7.99, and it's a good size picture. Very nice shape. Upside down maybe? I don't know, I can't tell from here. Yeah, okay. And then, this is uh, celebrating 150 years, Avondale Pitcher, um, number 84 out of 4,000. And this I got for $7.99 as well. And it has the applied roses and a really cute gold shamrock on the back side. This, these two, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't recognize as Balik. Um, just never did a lot with anything outside of the Shamrock ba basket weave. So um, it was kind of exciting to find these. And this one, I think I can do about thirty-five to forty-five for. Um, forty-five probably with the shipping on it. So um, these are a little bit more newer and. Um, there's a few out there, so I, I have to see what the actual um, what it looks like for active sales as well. I like to see what the competition is and how much is out there, how inundated the market is. Now this piece is kind of cool. This is uh, Balik Every Day, and it is a casserole with the basket weave shamrock, and here's the lid. Let me try to put it together. I didn't want to pick it up that way. Okay, there you go, has shamrocks on the handles, does have a couple of like, I don't know, glaze um, crazing marks in, I don't know if that's too bright, but I can't tell if that is uh, due to like st stress, like being put down too hard, or if it's just because of it being cold. It looks like stress maybe because it's in the back, it's kind of got that spider, looks like it might have just been stress. Um, I bought this for $9.99. This was the most expensive piece there. And it's Balik Every Day. And dishwasher, microwave, freezer, and oven safe. These run anywhere between $40 and $35. I've seen one all the way up to $100, which I think is not going to sell very easy at that price. It's going to be sitting there for a long, long time. But um, 
I think realistically um, about 60 to 70 with shipping would be I have to look again but I think that's about where I was thinking about $65 or so um, but I'll have to double check that and make sure again I have to do when I list everything I kind of go I look at the solds and I also look at what's active to know what my competition is if there's a lot of them out there then I try to be really conservative on you know bringing the value to the customer um, and that's my whole intent I want to move my inventory I do not want it to sit forever and ever unless it's a really special piece then I don't mind um, okay now this was in Swansboro. We went to um, a charity uh, thrift store there, Hem of His Garment. They really had a lot of like um, service wear and dining, you know, stuff for your table, flats, and uh, they had a lot of plates and dishes and, and uh, cups and glasses and but but it wasn't a lot of it wasn't um, what I was looking for and I didn't I don't want any more collections of that. So, going through the store, uh, they had some really neat um, uh, furniture pieces in there, but they were kind of on the high end um, of what I think. And um, the only thing I found in there that I was interested in was this pretty little bowl here. Japanese, Chinese, I had to do some research on it. It is marked, um, but I can't make out the mark. And it does say made in China. There's a gold sticker, but I'm not really sure about that mark. It's pretty though. It's got the the gold uh, outlined flowers, and I'll have to do a little bit of looking on that. I'm thinking about twelve to fifteen for that. I paid a dollar fifty. This one is a neat piece. Oh, I forgot to show you this. The other Balik thing. I'm sorry. Um, backing up to the the Balik, I got this cute little guy. And this sells for about $35, $45. And it's a rabbit dish. It still has the tape on it. I'm not, I'm not ready to take it off yet. Um, but it's just a little bunny dish, and it's super cute. So, yeah, that will be nice for Easter. Um, and then the last thing I got was um, in Swansboro we went to a new to you is the name of the store and um, they had some things there some really cool things this is where I got all the uh, blue cut, cut to clear glass the other day that I had in my video I forgot about this little guy and I'm not really I'm not really keen on picking up on um, uh, anniversary items but this one I couldn't let go because I know a Fenton critters sell usually pretty well I got the Lane Bear, and it's an aridized white, and it says 25th anniversary, and signed, I think I did take this off already, it is signed by M. Lemon. I don't even know that person's signature. So it does have a little bit of frit flour on here. And I believe these go anywhere between $20 to $35 right now. And I'll have to do a, another check, of course. But um, I just thought it was cute. So, um, and that's about it. I think that's all I score. That, that's the, my complete score now of everything that we got while we were on vacation. Um, so remember to stay stay on and I'm going to put some uh, souls that I had and I appreciate you uh, tuning in to see what I what I've gotten um, and also please remember to like and subscribe so you can stay in tune with what I get so thanks a lot for stopping by we'll talk to you